when a man infected with a dangerous virus arrives in a town in the Korean countryside, all the residents end up being contaminated and only one family is able to save them. Today we're going to recap the story of the 2019 movie, The Odd Family, Zombie on Sale. In a small village in South Korea, a couple are driving at night in the middle of a storm and end up having an accident on the road. Soon after, an unknown man showed up to tow the vehicle away, but what the couple didn't realize was that the accident had been caused by a nail that Jun Jiol had deliberately left in the middle of the road. The next morning, the gas station attendant repairs the vehicle and Ajuma has to pay an abusive amount for the service. When the couple leave, Nam Ju, his wife, puts the money in a safe and they go to lunch. That day, an outsider arrives in the village and, when he sees two women walking towards him, he tries to capture them. However, they just dodge the attack and continue walking as if nothing had happened. Then three young men show up and start throwing stones at him, believing Zhang Bai to be a beggar. Then, when the man starts chasing them, the children flee to their homes and Zhang Bai is chased by an angry dog. Meanwhile, Man Doc gets together with some of the town's elderly to play shogi, but the fun is interrupted when he hears the dog barking and goes to investigate what's going on. Searching the bathroom, he finds Zhang Bai and, before running away, the young man bites the old man's head off. He then runs out into the street and comes across Hei Gul, Jun Jiol's younger sister. When she realizes that the guy is coming towards her, the girl attacks him, but decides to run away when she sees the dog approaching. That same day, Min Gul arrives in the village and is happy to see his younger sister. He is the only one in the family who has had the opportunity to go to college, but he has just been fired from the company where he worked and has decided to return to his hometown. Then, when he realizes that Hei Gul is running away from someone, the man decides to accompany her and, during the escape, the girl ends up falling to the ground. Just as Zhang Bai is about to catch up, Jun Jiol appears and accidentally runs him over with his truck. With the impact, the young man is thrown away and falls down a cliff. At that moment, the three siblings go to check if he is alive and are surprised to see him get up as if nothing had happened. The trio try to communicate with him, but when they hear him barking, Zhang Bai decides to run away and the siblings return home. Minutes later, Man Doc is taken home by ambulance and Jun Jiol is worried to see his father with his head bandaged. The elderly man is a widower and lives alone in his trailer. In the middle of the night, he hears a noise coming from the barn and immediately goes to investigate what's going on. Once again, the old man and his daughter encounter Zhang Bai. Thirsting for revenge for the bite he took, he grabs a shovel and runs towards the young man to attack him. As her father strikes the invader, Hei Gul runs to ask for Jun Jiol's help and the man knocks Zhang Bai down with a single kick. After the attack, the young man has his chest pierced by a pointed iron bar and, once again, everyone thinks he is eliminated. However, when they least expect it, the man starts moving again and the family flees in fright, believing that this guy has just returned from the dead seeking revenge. Observing the young man's strange behavior, Min Gul remembers an outbreak that happened while he was in America and realizes that this guy is a zombie. When they discover that Mr. Mandok may be infected, all his family members shun him and Nam Ju attacks him with a frying pan. While the old man is out, his children lock him in their trailer and Min Gul soon starts researching all the information about zombies available on the internet. He then shares all the knowledge he has acquired with the rest of the family. The man tells them that when it invades the human body, the virus causes an alteration in the DNA and thus manages to turn them into zombies. Then, when a person is bitten, the virus spreads through the bloodstream and causes a very high fever. After that, the infected person begins to undergo the first changes. Slowly, the spirit that inhabits the body is released until the person perishes and completely loses control of their actions. In a short time, the infected turn into animals that attack everything that moves and their favorite food as human brains. While the family gathers to decide what to do, Man Doc escapes from the trailer through the opening in the sunroof and walks back home. Based on the information he has gathered, Min Gul comes to the conclusion that the best thing to do to prevent further contamination is to eliminate his father, but on hearing this, Jun Jiol is furious and orders his brother to pack his things and leave. While they are arguing, Man Doc enters the kitchen and sits down at the dining table next to his daughter. Suddenly, he opens his mouth to say something, but Min Gul strikes him before he can hurt anyone, because he thought his father was going to attack Hei Gul. Immediately, the young man has to flee, because Jun Jiol is after him for revenge. When Min Gul leaves, Hei Gul goes to visit the zombie who is trapped in the barn. She tries to communicate with Zhang Bai, but the young man doesn't answer her. All he can do is chew cabbage. So Nam Ju has to be radical and decides to attack him to try and extract information. That afternoon, Man Doc returns to the club where he usually meets his friends and everyone is surprised to realize that, overnight, 
the man has grown several years younger. When he returns home, he thanks Zhang Bai for the bite, because he knows that it was thanks to him that his body changed. Seeing his father dancing next to the zombie, Min Gul claims that the virus has already affected his brain and once again tries to convince his brother that the best alternative is to eliminate it while there is still time. Just then, one of Man Doc's friends shows up and offers him money to tell him what he did to make himself younger. So, after receiving the money, the old man starts packing his bags for a trip to Hawaii, as he has always dreamed of visiting this archipelago. While he's packing his luggage, all the other seniors in the club show up with envelopes of money ready to receive the formula of youth. After collecting the money, Man Doc takes his friends to the warehouse and discovers that Zhang Bai has disappeared. The zombie has been taken to Seoul by Min Gul and, halfway there, he is stopped by the police for exceeding the speed limit. When they searched the vehicle, the guard spotted a metal trunk and heard a noise coming from inside it. Then, when they open the box, they find a man trapped inside and Min Gul runs away to avoid being arrested. However, his attempt to escape is to no avail, as he ends up being taken to the police station. While waiting in reception, Min Gul tries to explain what happened and says that the guy is a zombie. Just then, Man Doc bursts into the police station and says he's there to get his son back. When he sees him, Min Gul feels relieved, but soon discovers that the old man is referring to the zombie. That evening, the family gathers and Man Doc reveals that the bite has made him look younger. Meanwhile, Hei Gul brings Zhang Bai a cabbage and finds it strange that he can't eat it. At that moment, she opens the young man's mouth and discovers that all his teeth have been removed. Furious, the girl asks who pulled out Zhang Bai's teeth and Man Doc despairs when he discovers that his business has gone bankrupt before it even started. Feeling guilty for what she has done, Nam Ju reveals that she was responsible for pulling out the creature's teeth, so Man Doc steals a set of dentures so that the zombie can bite the old people. However, when the man puts his arm into the hole, Zhang Bai doesn't attack him. So Nam Ju has to pour ketchup on the old man's skin to awaken the zombie's appetite. At that moment, the old man screams in pain and everyone has to help him get loose. When he discovers the mechanism Man Doc used to rejuvenate him, all his friends give up and leave, but soon change their minds and return to take the bite. The next day, the whole group is younger and more refreshed than ever. The night before, Nam Ju had kept all the money the family had collected in her safe, but when she goes to open it to put more money in, she discovers that her savings have disappeared, because Man Doc stole the money to go on his dream trip. Now that his family is bankrupt, Min Gul tries to capture the zombie again and promises that he will return home with a lot of money. However, he is stopped by Nam Ju, who pulls up in front of the vehicle and says that he will knock his brother-in-law's teeth out if he tries to escape again. That afternoon, Hei Gul decides to take Zhang Bai for a walk and the young man gets excited when he sees a plantation full of cabbages. While the zombie devours the vegetables, Hei Gul tries to communicate with him once again and they both have fun together. Trying to take the cabbage from the girl's hands, Zhang Bai ends up falling on top of her and the couple have a romantic moment until Jun Jiol appears and, with a kick, removes the zombie from his younger sister. At that moment, he sees his father's friends walking towards his house and runs to warn the rest of the family. Immediately, everyone goes into the house and locks the windows. Then they hide in the hope that the old people will go away. However, they are accompanied by other villagers, who have learned about the youth formula and have gone there to get a bite of Zhang Bai. Then, when he realizes that they are willing to pay for the service, Min Gul appears at the window and orders them to line up. It's not long before all the villagers show up at the family home to offer money in exchange for Zhang Bai's bite. After all his service, the young man is finally treated like a member of the family and moves into the trailer that used to belong to Mr. Man Doc. One day, Hei Gul decides to take him for a haircut and to do some shopping. After making some improvements to his appearance, Zhang Bai becomes completely unrecognizable and starts working at the family gas station. One sunny afternoon, Hei Gul takes the zombie for a walk in the forest and reveals that her mother perished while giving birth to her. Because of this, the young girl grew up being blamed for her mother's perishment. Having grown up hearing this from her brothers, Hei Gul also began to feel guilty and feels that she owes them an eternal debt. After venting to her friend, she asks him to flee through the forest to safety, as she knows Min Gul won't give up trying to sell the young man to a pharmaceutical company. After saying goodbye to him, the girl returns home. Meanwhile, Min Gul is looking for the zombie to take him to Seoul and manages to find him in the forest, exactly where Hei Gul left him. The man then takes Zhang Bai to the bus station and buys two tickets to the capital without even imagining that, in his village, all the people who have been bitten by the young man are turning into zombies. Suddenly, dozens of zombies invade the bus station and Min Gul has to flee to avoid being devoured by them. At that moment, a wedding ceremony is taking place and both the bride and the guests become victims of an attack. 
That afternoon, the city streets become infested with zombies and the residents have to fight to survive. Sad at having been told to leave by Zhang Bai, He Gul spends several hours inside the young man's trailer, but decides to leave when she hears noises coming from outside. The young woman believes that Zhang Bai has returned home and is happy to see him again. However, to her surprise, she comes across one of her neighbors and despairs when she realizes that he has turned into a zombie. Luckily, the girl manages to escape and finds her brother. When he sees Mr. Chum, Jun Jiol thinks the old man is drunk, but when he approaches, Nam Ju quickly knocks him over with her purse. Witnessing the assault, a policeman points his gun at the couple and says he will take them to the police station. However, the arrest is interrupted when the old man decides to attack him and brutally bites the officer's neck. Then other zombies appear and surround the family, so Jun Jiol grabs the policeman's pistol and tries to fend them off while his sister and wife go home. When the trio manage to get inside, Nam Ju orders them to close all the doors and windows and sits down in her armchair with a frying pan in her hand to attack any zombies that come near. Now that they are surrounded, Jun Jiol realizes that his brother was right about the infection and wonders where he is. While searching Min Gul's room, He Gul finds his notebook and the three of them prepare for battle. At this point, Min Gul is still stuck in the bus station and is hiding under a bus while trying to call for help. However, when he reports to the police that he is being chased by the zombies, the man is completely ignored. Suddenly, his phone rings and he can't answer it. So as not to risk attracting the attention of the zombies, Min Gul throws the device away. At this point, he takes advantage of the fact that the zombies are distracted to escape and steals a truck to get home safely. That night, the trio remain hidden inside their house and follow the news to try to get some information about the attack, but the existence of the zombies is not announced in the media. Suddenly, Nam Ju starts having contractions and realizes that she's going to give birth soon. While they think of a way to get to the hospital safely, zombies manage to break into the house and Jun Jiol sees his pregnant wife almost captured. Luckily, the woman manages to escape without any injuries, so the trio escape through the second floor window and onto the roof. As they try to hide from the horde of zombies that is trying to reach them, Min Gul appears and uses the truck's horn to attract the creature's attention. He then fires dozens of flares in the direction of his enemies. However, the shot backfires when the man loses control and the flares start exploding inside the truck. Immediately, Min Gul has to get out of the vehicle and hides, but the zombies are attracted to the truck and suddenly the whole sky is covered in fireworks. Attracted by the noise, all the zombies in town gather around the gas station and Nam Ju goes into labor. Knowing that his sister-in-law needs to get to the hospital, Min Gul has an idea to distract the monsters and takes Zhang Bai's clothes so that he and his brother can pass themselves off as zombies. Smelling the young man's clothes, the creatures believe that Jun Jiol and Min Gul belong to their gang and don't attack them. However, when the pair get into the truck, the headlights come on and the monsters attack the vehicle. Determined to save her brothers, He Gul decides to risk her own life and takes a chainsaw to eliminate her enemies. Immediately, they run towards her and the girl is knocked down. Just as she was about to be devoured, Zhang Bai appears and forms a barrier between her and the zombies. Then, when they smell the young man, the monsters stop their attack. While walking across the roof of the house, a zombie policeman accidentally triggers the gas station's emergency lights and the monsters are distracted once again. At that moment, He Gul seizes the opportunity to escape and takes Zhang Bai with her. When he remembers that he forgot the key to the truck inside the house, Jun Jiol gets out of the vehicle to go and get it and suddenly everyone hears a baby crying. Desperate to reach his wife, the man decides to face the zombies in a hand-to-hand -hand duel and manages to defeat them all. After getting the keys to the truck, he thinks of a way to find his wife and son, who are hiding inside the trailer. Nam Ju desperately tries to calm the child down, as his crying attracts the monster's attention. However, when a zombie was about to invade the place, He Gul appeared and eliminated the creature. The young woman is willing to give her life to protect her sister-in-law and her newborn nephew, as she believes she will be making amends for her mother's perishment. After throwing the keys to Min Gul, Jun Jiol is captured and asks his brother to take good care of his wife and son. After saying goodbye, the man starts the vehicle and He Gul realizes that the trailer is hooked up to the truck. She quickly enters the trailer and Zhang Bai decides to stay outside to prevent the other zombies from opening the door. Trying to dodge the creatures, Min Gul ends up destroying one of the gas stations and the fuel starts spreading around the place. Suddenly, Jun Jiol gets into the truck and the man is relieved to know that his brother has made it out alive. At that moment, the pair started the vehicle and managed to escape, taking the trailer with them. When she realizes that Zhang Bai has been left behind, He Gul despairs and the young man is saddened to have been separated from his only friend once again. 
For the first time, he manages to pronounce the girl's name and, on hearing his voice, the other zombies attack him. While his body is being devoured, Zhang Bai lights a lighter and sets fire to the station, causing an explosion that eliminates all the zombies. The next morning, after several hours on the road, Jun Jiol notices that his brother has been infected and has also turned into a zombie. The family is stopped in the middle of the road when they notice someone approaching and soon discover that Man Doc has just returned from Hawaii. For some mysterious reason, the old man hasn't turned into a zombie and is terrified to see that his son has lost consciousness. Suddenly, dozens of zombies appear from the tunnel, but this time the family is no longer afraid to face them. Six months later, they are still traveling around Korea in their truck and Jun Jiol is cured. During a new attack, Hei Gul comes out of the trailer with her lawnmower along with Zhang Bai and orders the zombies to line up so that Man Doc can bite off each of their arms. Surprisingly, the old man has become the solution to all the chaos and now his job is to travel the length and breadth of the country with his family to cure the infected. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.